Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how we can create a progress bar in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Okay, let's create a progress bar, but we'll need a few imports to begin. The progress bar widget is found within that TTK module, so we'll need a separate import from that. From TK enter dot ttk import everything and we'll import everything from time as well let's create a window window equals tk followed by window dot main loop we're going to add a progress bar and a button to this window when we click on the button it's going to fill our progress bar let's begin by creating a button to begin with let's call this button equals button we're adding this to the window let's set some text text equals maybe download and then a command. Maybe I'll call this start. Finish by adding this button to the window and we'll just use pack to do that. Let's define what our start function does. DEF start, we'll fill this in later. I'm just going to print nothing just as a placeholder. And we should just have a button. Now let's add a progress bar before this button. And we'll call this progress bar just bar for short. Bar equals progress bar we're adding this to the window we can set an orientation this can be horizontal or vertical later on in this video i'll show you the differences between the two but for now let's set this to horizontal and then i'm going to pack this bar bar dot pack and add some padding pad y equals 10 and let's see what we have Okay, this is our progress bar at the top, and this is the button. When we click on this button, it's going to fill our progress bar. But I think I'm going to increase the length of this progress bar. Let's set this to maybe 300. I believe 100 is the default. Okay, that's not too bad of a size. Now let's define what our start function does. We can actually increase the value of our progress bar by typing in the name of this progress bar here. Value plus equals some amount, let's say 10. So what's going to happen right now is that every time we click on this button, it's going to fill our progress bar by 10 out of the total, which is 100. Let's pretend that we're waiting for a certain amount of tasks to complete. So let's define a few variables. Let's say we have a variable called tasks and let's set this to 10 just to keep it simple. And x will represent the current task that we're on, and we'll say 0 to begin with. Let's create a while loop. While x is less than the amount of tasks that we have, we will increment the value of our bar by 10. 10%. 10% for each task that we have, which is 10 for a total of 100%. And we'll want to increment the task that we're on as well, which is represented by x. So let's increment x by 1 after each iteration of this while loop. Now when we run this and click download, this fills instantly. Let's add a delay just to simulate each task waiting to be completed. So let's add that here. Let's add a delay by using time.sleep and let's set this to 1 second. We're going to wait 1 second and then complete a task. What ends up happening now is that nothing appears to be updating. Well, what gives bro, you lie to me. Well, that's because the window is waiting to have this progress bar complete before it's actually going to display it being filled. So we would want to refresh this window after each iteration of the while loop. So at the end of this while loop, let's add one thing, window dot update underscore idle tasks. After each iteration of this while loop, it's going to update the window that we have. So then when we download something, it's going to update our progress bar after each iteration of this while loop until it's completed. Right about now. Let's take this a step further by adding a label that displays the current percent of the progress bar that is complete. Let's add this label after the progress bar but before the button, sandwiched right between these two widgets. So let's add that here. We'll call this label percent 
label equals label. We'll add this to the window and we'll need a text variable. Text variable equals, let's call this percent. So the reason that we use a text variable is so that we can update this label with some text after each iteration of our while loop. And we'll need to pack this. Okay, within the window near the top, let's define percent. Percent equals string var. This allows us to update percent with some new text and set the percent label with the new text that we have within the while loop. But before we update idle tasks, let's set what percent is. Percent dot set. And let's say x divided by tasks. And then we'll multiply this by 100%. I'm just going to put this within its own set of parentheses times 100. And then we'll convert all of this to a string. So we can display this along with some text. There are a lot of parentheses here, so it might be difficult to keep track of all this. All right. And then we're just going to tack on percent. And that's it. Let's try it. So we got 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'll shut up now. One change that I'm gonna make is that I'm going to cast all of this as an integer before we convert it to a string because I do not like that decimal at the end of our percentage. So yeah, it says 10%, 20, so on and so forth. Let's add a label that displays the current task that we're on. So let's copy what we have for our percent label and let's rename this as maybe task label. Task label, text variable will equal maybe text. And let's define what text is. So text is also a string var. And within our while loop, let's update the value of our text. Text.set will display x plus maybe a forward slash plus our tasks. And since we're displaying integers along with some strings, we need to convert these to strings. And we can use the str function to do that for us. So surround x and tasks with str to convert these to strings. And then we'll add just plus tasks completed. So the value of x will update after each iteration of this while loop. Let's try it. And after clicking download, this will display the percentage as well as the amount of tasks that have been completed all the way until it reaches the end. Let's change this into a more practical example. We'll pretend that we're downloading a video game. So let's replace or rename tasks as maybe GB4 gigabytes. And this game will be 100 gigabytes. We'll rename X as well. So let's refactor, rename, and change X to maybe download to represent the amount of gigabytes that are downloaded. And let's create a variable called speed. And let's set this to one. All right. So while our download is less than the amount of gigabytes for this game, we'll sleep for maybe a portion of a second. 0 0.05 should be good. We'll increase the value of our bar by this amount, speed divided by gigabytes, and then multiply this by 100. For the download, we're going to increment this by whatever our speed is, and right now it's one, so that's the same. We can keep percent the same. For our text, let's change tasks to gigabytes. And that's all the changes that we have to make. And now when we download something, we're kind of pretending that we're downloading a large file or a game. You can see that once it reaches 100, it says 100%, 100 out of 100 gigabytes completed. Now we can change this to a different value. Let's say maybe 50 and the speed will be maybe two. So this will adjust to accommodate whatever the new file size is, as well as the speed. And before I forget, you can change the orientation to a vertical bar if you so choose. So we have this vertical download bar now, which could be good for something. All right, so that's the basics of progress bars in Python. If you want a copy of all this code, 
I'll post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's the basics of progress bars in Python. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.